New Abyss with Corrosion status is pain. And this is absolutely dreadful. In this video, I want to share a few things that I observed along the way that helped me realize what the final strategy for this floor 11 should be and what team should I go for. My name is Denny and welcome to another one of my F2P videos. It's not about enemies having 20 ton sandals or being made out of pure spite anymore. When I first looked at this abyss lineup, I said to myself, great, finally easily beatable floor 11. Boy, was I wrong. With the new abyss rotation came the new mechanism, corrosion. What does corrosion mean? Pain. Basically, the whole point of abyss is to kill enemies quickly. The whole point of corrosion is to punish you for doing so, because each time you kill an enemy, you get a stack of corrosion that lasts for 10 seconds and eats away your HP, but it stops at 15%. You may think to yourself, great, I will just leave at 50% HP. No. In each wave, there is one enemy that, after being on field for 15 seconds, is going to apply pyro status to your active character that deals pyro damage each second. Like to my jungle here! So, how do we fight against the status effect, you ask? My team for first few tries were like this. I was counting on simply out healing the corrosion effect and playing the rest like always. For chamber 1 and 2, it worked flawlessly. And then I hit the brick wall. Chamber 3. First half, 6 enemies total. How hard can this be? I asked myself. And I got obliterated a few seconds later. I could not believe my eyes how fast my HP pool has diminished. Tried and tried again, but same thing happened every time. My Bennett just couldn't keep up with the status effect. But where was the corrosion status coming from? That's why we take so much damage all of a sudden. It was at that time I realized you're not actually going against 6 enemies. You are actually facing infinite number of enemies. Have I gone mad? Perhaps. But maybe you realize just now as well that the Sissin flies count as enemies as well. And when they die, you get to experience the amazing feeling of corrosion. <laughs> and there are 6 Sissin flies most of the time on the field as well. And you get the corrosion even if the purple mage sacrifices her flies. With this in mind, I had few ideas how to handle this. Strategy number 1. Use single target DPS character as to not kill the flies but kill the agents. I went with physical damage jungling supported with Electro Traveler, level 50 Barbara and Zhongli. It did not work. Strategy number 2. Freeze comp. Mages can't summon the flies if they can't move, right? But my freeze comp is quite lacking in the damage per screenshot department, so as to not suffer needlessly, I scratched this idea. Strategy number 3. With each attempt I kept thinking, if only I had Venti, and he would be my pick number 3 if I had him, but I don't. Instead, I noticed that my second half team is performing better than I needed, so I just put them on first half and prayed the other one is going to perform well enough. In my mind, my strategy went like this. Zhongli's shield has to have 100% uptime as each attack from the agents might kill a unit. Raiden is going to be main DPS and feed energy to Bennett, which in turn is going to provide heal to any on-field character. Also, since we have tons of energy, we can always Bennett ult and then burst with another character to get that iframe healing. This is basically how I imagine being a hotel main feels like. With this approach, I was able to successfully clear the chamber 3 after a few tries and you can see my best run on the screen right now. And so, to help you clear chamber 3, this is what I recommend. Put your strongest characters on first half, since the second one is much easier. CC the mages so they can't summon the flies. Burst pyro agent first to get rid of the pyro dot effect. Have a shield slash heal ready when your characters get too low HP. Don't try out healing the corrosion. It's not worth it with so many season flies. If you found this video to be entertaining and or helpful, consider subscribing to the channel. It's free. And I also want to mention that I stream on twitch.tv slash Danny the Fool. So if you're into that stuff, you know what to do.